Guys, I have literally been hounding Alex Steingrabber for well over a year to get me one of his folding knives, the Lamia. So it finally came in. He sent me the pass around knife. We're going to take a look at it because this thing is absolutely amazing. The best cutting knife we've had come in this year. All right, guys, you knew eventually I was going to get a Steingrabber Performance Knives Lam Lamia. Uh, it's a Greek, it's a creature from Greek mythology. It's a woman's head with a serpent's body. Um, I, re I, d I dig the, I dig the mythology thing. This has got to be the best cutting knife I've had come in on the channel. Hands down, this is the best knife that, best cutting knife so far this year. Um, the only knife that even comes close is the Warren Tack. And I mean, it does come very close, but this absolutely is a, it is a laser. It is a scalpel. So this is done in titanium that has had got this beautiful micro milling on it we'll talk about that in a minute and crew wear now i have had issues with crew wear in the past being rusty um i don't know we'll have to see about that but people are telling me that alex did something with this steel maybe in the heat treat or something where it is not at all um prone to rust so reverse flick only on this feel in hand is amazing but the showcase on this is this crew wear blade that Alex did. It is a fully CNC blade. And you guys know, I don't have a problem with that. I don't dislike the CNC knives. I like the, uh, I like the consistency you get from a fully machined knife. Uh, and they can get some really high performance out of the blades because they can take it nice and slow, nice and thin, and not have to worry about some of the things you have when you hand grind a blade or the inconsistencies. Um, the blade stock thickness on this is insane. I have my calipers right here. Uh, let me zero these out. I was getting thicknesses behind the edge at the middle of this blade. Let me get right up behind it of 0 0.015, sometimes a little bit less. Um, it depends, it's really hard to do. I think I'm actually up on the edge grind. I was getting 0 0.015 was about what I was getting. Sorry, it's hard to do it on film, um, but I'll put what I had gotten down here. 0 0.015 behind the edge thickness on this, and it's a flat grind, not a hollow, so it means there is no scalloped out area where it transitions really thick. This slides through material very very well in hand it is just about perfect in hand i talked about that micro milling it's not just there for looks the micro milling on this gives you a tactile feel on this that is absolutely nice and grippy but not overly grippy it's not like it's aggressive it just doesn't feel slick it is amazing. Cutting with this has been a dream. I did a bunch of cutting on some super thick cardboard. I'll put that footage in right here. All right, guys, this is some of the thickest cardboard I've had come in in a long time. Nico saved this for me. His cupboards were packed in this, and this stuff is really thick. I've had problems cutting it with a lot of other knives, and this is screaming through it. As a matter of, I mean, that is really thick. That's probably almost half an inch of cardboard just screaming, screaming through that. So as you saw, it just slid through that. And that was thick cardboard. I had had a lot of trouble cutting with some other knives. I had other knives that typically cut really well that were binding up in that cardboard. So um, like I said, the action on this is on bearings right now. But the fact is Alex provided the washers and you don't need a space or anything. You can just take the bearings out and put in the washers. Now, I am a big fan of bearings, so it's probably going to stay with the bearings in it for the full time that I carry it. I may just do it to show you guys how to do it, but I doubt if I carry it that way. Lock bar tension on this, the lock up on it is great, but it's a light lock bar release. You don't need to, you don't have to put much pressure on that lock bar to disengage the lock, but it doesn't feel, there is nothing here. There is no issue with lock up, I mean. There is no issue, there is no blade play, there is no lock rock, there is nothing on this. Reverse flick only may be an issue for some people. I don't have a problem with it. You can get way up on this and just power through stuff. So um, one of the other things I want to mention is Alex absolutely did a really good job making sure that this does not catch on the lip of a pocket. It's nice and rounded out. It's not a hard edge on that. And then it's just to chamfer everything and make it feel good in hand. This thing is 
I'm super impressed with this. A lot of people would look at that and go, that's a pretty plain looking knife. It's really not. The thought that went into it, the comfort level, the cutting capability, everything you get from this, very, very well thought out. Uh, even with the handles, being like a lot of people say, oh, those are really plain handles. They transition and are just the right thickness, the white, the right thickness, the right width, with the right amount of radius on that and then how it comes down and widens back up so you have good purchase. It does not at all feel unstable in your hands. You can get clear up on this, even without a finger choil, you can get way up on this without the need of a finger choil. Now, there is only one thing that I have found on this and, uh, well, actually two small things. Uh, so that should tell you it's a very, very good knife if I have only two minor gripes. So let's, Go ahead. You guys will hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, and we'll turn this around and talk about a couple little negative nice. things. You guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that, that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them and support this channel. Now this first one, I absolutely understand why he did it. Um, I've made knives. I do understand if you had stayed this thin, but you can see on it where it transitions from the super thin up to a more robust tip. And you can see that on the edge grind. So you've got a lot thick and it, it, it presents it. I'm not sure whether this got tipped or if it's just because it does thicken up. Um, it's got a little bit of a blunter tip than a lot of other knives. Um, that could just be that it got tipped because this is not a brand new knife. Um, but uh, the only other thing, the only other thing on this, and it's just a feel thing. Um, I, I wish that this was flush. That's the only thing. I just wish that was flush. Um, when I reach down and I feel it in my pocket, I can feel that. And it just it's just a me thing. But I absolutely wish that that was a little, I wish that was just completely flush. So those are the only two negative things. And like I said, the first one, absolutely understand why he did it, but I can see it. And it's just, it's one of those things that like, ah, my eye sees it. It does not detract from the cutting capability at all. So only a couple small gripes. Guys, let's turn this around and do some final thoughts about this amazing knife. Guys, I said it. I said it a couple times in the video. I know I said it. Uh, this is absolutely the best cutting knife. Maybe one of the best cutting knives we've ever had come in. There's a lot of knives out there that, that, that lay their, their stake on being very, very slicey and very, very good at cutting. Um, I, I think this really blows most of them away. It's not a, a matter of, oh, it's just the new cool thing I've got in my pocket. It's absolutely a freaking buzzsaw through anything I've thrown at it. Uh, especially that thick, thick cardboard you guys saw me cutting. So that's pretty much it on this one, guys. I'm going to carry this for a few more weeks. I have it in from Alex. I'll do the, you know, the this is the first day in pockets. I'll do the full review in the upcoming weeks. It's going to spend a lot of time in pocket. I'm really impressed with it. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. Don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why I can't change the content. If you don't tell me what you don't like, if you want to support the channel, Already talked about Coffee Brand Coffee, but I also have Tempered Trail. They're also a sponsor. They both have a coupon code of Crazy Sharp. The coffee, use the link. It's a little easier. And you, if you're going to get a subscription where you get 10% off, it still supports the channel and you get credit for it. Does The coupon code does not work for that. I also have coupon codes at Ferrum Forge Knifeworks and a Rosecraft of Crazy Sharp. Same coupon code, all one word. Uh, saves you 5% at all of those vendors across the board, even the sponsors. Um, I also have got an Amazon store down below. Just take that, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you're going to do. It doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout, and it just makes Jeff Bezos pay me a little bit, and you don't even have to get dressed to do it. And I have a membership where all of the members get to hang out in the Gilded server where we hang out, we chat, there's trades, there's knife trades. Everybody builds lasting friendships there. Um, 
the baseline and premium tier members automatically are, are entered into the giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. That's the only way you're going to know if you won. And the premium guys have access to a Sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.